people. September 3rd, 2020, I left the United States and I moved abroad. I moved to Monte Ecuador and I've lived in, lived and traveled in over eight countries since then. A lot has changed about me, who I am, how I see the world, how I see myself, how I process things, my values, what I care about. My core has stayed the same. But yeah, a lot of things have changed. I came out as queer and trans. I realized I notified that I not only have ADHD, but I'm also autistic. I've learned languages. I'm no longer, I have no contact with 98% of my family. And concepts like safety, security, love, family, community have all changed. I'm not the same person that I was before because the pacing of my life, the things that I was learning and seeing in my travels, the people I was learning, the ways I was forced to be outside of my comfort zone. I was forced to see so much outside of myself that it forced me also to look in, look within and ask some of the same questions I was asking about the world around me. I'm sharing this to say is that one of the biggest things that I've learned and has solidified so deeply within me is the importance of community. Now I have created online communities. I've helped facilitate in-person communities and spaces for folks. And all these spaces and things have been beautiful and amazing and have nourished me in so many ways. And I know I've nourished the folks a part of them as well. But as I sit here really contemplating the realities of the world currently, I'm realizing more and more that I cannot do this by myself. Being disabled and being compromised. I know we were never meant to do life alone. My ancestors, I know the ancestors of indigenous folks and everything about existence pre-colonization was embedded in community care, was embedded in expansion, was embedded in collection, collect the, the collective. <laughs> I don't know exactly why I'm sharing this, and it's probably loud because I'm currently living in Mexico City and I live close to a school and it's pretty loud, so apologies for that. But I want to believe that there's other folks out there that I've identified that they can't do this alone. While I know being in community isn't something easy, especially when things like communication and sitting with trauma and and trying to cultivate relationships and connections when folks have experiences of trauma and don't have good reflections or examples of healthy or nourishing relationships. I know it's not simple, but I do know is that it requires practice like anything else. I want to practice being in community. I want to practice being in proximity with folks and creating space to not have to do this all alone. I know many things can get in the way, like folks have different values and beliefs. Because unfortunately, all skin folk are kin folk. That's my friend Laura just <laughs> reminded me of. But we see individualism isn't working. I don't care who you are. I don't think anyone right now is having a good time. I don't care where you are in the world. And if you are, you might be severely disconnected from the reality of what's happening. If you're a black, queer, no divergent person and you're open to practicing community or even having conversations on what that can look like, comment down below. I think what I'm asking for is I need to know that I'm not alone in feeling and thinking these things. And I need to also know that I'm not alone in feeling the gravity and the weight of capitalism and individualism pushing me. Because it's a hard truth to come to when you realize that my survival is all up to myself. I'm not going to survive. I'm not going to make it. I can't do this in, alone anymore. And I don't plan to. And I have to believe there's others that feel the same. I love y'all.